Every year we run over 400 training activities. We have brought together uh, around 170 participants from more than 70 countries uh, around the world. It's important to point out that this is the training centre of the International Labour Organisation. And therefore, all of our work on gender is underpinned by the international labour standards of the ILO in the area of gender equality. And it's clear that each of you bring your own specific interest, your own specific experiences, and your perspectives to the questions that you are going to look at over the next two weeks. Because gender equality and women's rights uh, and women's empowerment are goals by themselves. They have intrinsic value in themselves, but they are also instrumental in achieving all other goals of development. We believe that this combination of lectures, inter interactive, hands-on workshops and opportunities to share knowledge and establish networks are, is highly effective and transformative approach for training. Es oportuno que nos refiramos al concepto de género. Permítanme recordarles que este es un concepto o una categoría de análisis que comienza a oírse allá por los años 70 y se refiere en los términos más sencillos a todas las creencias, comportamientos, funciones y relaciones entre hombres y mujeres construidos por la sociedad y asignados según el sexo con que se nace. The Gender Academy is, uh, is a kind of hybrid creation in terms of uh, pedagogical uh, product because it's a mix of uh, the typical conference and we combine that with our traditional type of training and capacity building course where we aim at developing the capacity of participants by providing them with tools and instruments. So it's a combination of uh, highly specialized uh, theoretical uh, uh, knowledge as well as the provision of tools and instruments. My name is Sabine Islamzadeh and uh, I am from Azerbaijan. Uh, currently I work as a fundraiser for a Women's Association for Rational Development. I am the youngest here and um, I'm very happy to be here because I don't only learn from uh, the trainers but I also learn a lot from the participants because most of them have an enormous huge uh, experience in this area. So, um, the, the skills and the knowledge that I get here will definitely help me in my, um, in my job and um, of course the motivation that I get here will also help me measurably. Je suis de Burundi. J'avais l'impression que mon gouvernement n'avait aucune chance de pouvoir euh, migrer de l'économie informelle vers l'économie formelle. Mais avec les techniques et les échanges euh, que nous avons eus, il est possible. My name is May Mahmoud. I'm uh, representing the National Council for Women in Egypt. I'm here to uh, um, um, benefit from the best practices. Trabajo para la Unión Europea, para la delegación en Nicaragua de la, de la Unión Europea. Jorley. Uh, my name is Kamla Thapa. I am from Nepal. From Botswana. Um, I am a judge with the Industrial Court. Uno no tiene la, la expertise, entonces tiene que aprender. Y bueno, ahora tocará ir a replicar todo esto. Que eh, por eso también muy importante eh, toda la documentación que nos han estado dando, que va a permitir que mucha más gente conozca este tipo de. De, de herramientas. 
This is my great opportunity to be in, uh, trained by this ITC ILO because uh, we indigenous people are really uh, don't get this kind of um, opportunities. Coming to the academy and coming to these courses keeps us abreast of international developments and um, it's, it's, it's good, it keeps us, uh, I'd say, fresh as judges to be able to be current, yes. One important series of workshops in this academy is actually for judges. We're calling it the judicial stream. Why zoom in on judges? After all, the ILO works with employers representatives, business representatives, ministries for employment. Why move across to that other arm, the judiciary? because judges are the ones that ensure compliance. At the end of the day, a good law, a good understanding of the law, uh, bringing cases for fairness when one feels aggrieved will go nowhere unless the judges themselves understand what gender equality is. We're here at the Gender Academy, uh, not only myself, but several other judges from the region trying to learn more about the ILO standards, and mo learn more about gender equality and how we can best apply those principles to our own jurisdictions and in our own laws. These sessions are about the socio-economic and gender analysis, which is a, a very practical way to approach the, the gender issues in rural environment. The approach that we are using is very participatory, participatory and um, the most of, I mean, the bulk of the work is done in group. On a choisi l'olivier comme arbre puisque c'est très très intéressant au niveau de la consommation au Maroc. So they are using and practicing these uh, Siaga tools, which are an old-fashioned way to approach, but still very modern and ongoing. Ready? All right. Hello, Funding Committee. I'm so glad to run into you today. You know, I actually, a little bird told me that you have $500,000 in the bank. Um, and I have a great idea. Basically, what we're, we're working with um, UN system gender focal points, and the idea is to help them build their capacity so that they can carry out that role. We're doing it through a combination of different methodologies. One is basic, uh, we're sharing information and skills. We're trying to teach them different tools, particularly related to gender analysis, that they can use. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. Thank you for this opportunity. But we're also trying to make it as interactive as possible and to draw on their own knowledge and their shared experience. So, for example, right now they're preparing for a game of UN Idol in which they each get to practice advocacy. And the finalist, whoever is the best, wins 500,000 UN dollars. So I hope you'll give a serious consideration today to uh, um, uh, trusting us with this money to carry out this analysis. Thank you. Thank you very much. My name is Shatil. People know me as Shatil in Bangladesh. And I work for the women who work in the ready-made garment sector. Trabajo con UNDP, con el Programa Naciones Unidas para el Desarrollo en Nueva York, en el equipo de género. Je m'appelle Anthony Mancharov, je viens de France et euh, en fait je travaille avec des enfants d'âge maternel, je suis animateur plus précisément. In the society itself is very patriarchal, I mean the um, male dominated society and the women, you know like thousand thousand women in a single uh, factory um, and um, uh, all the male are the bosses. Quand le matin ils arrivent avant d'aller à l'école, on leur laisse un temps de jeu libre et un petit garçon donc était rentré, je lui dis qu'il pouvait jouer. Il est parti jouer et faire euh, préparer à manger. Son père a vu ça, il est revenu et il a dit euh, non mon fils, tu ne feras pas ça. Tu vas jouer aux voitures. Mon nom c'est Ndai Mengue Ndiaté Ndiaye. Je suis coordinatrice du, de la cellule genre au niveau du ministère de la santé et de l'action sociale dans mon pays, le Sénégal. I am from Pakistan and uh, I am working in the Labour Department and head, head of the Gender Unit of Punjab. 
I'm Senior Career Management Advisor with the Career Management Support section of UNHCR. J'ai beaucoup, beaucoup appris dans cette académie. I share knowledge and share issues and, and learn the issues and their solutions in different cultures. So it will be a very, prof it, it will be very fruitful for me to implement in my workplace. I've come here to understand ways of developing policy, practice, especially in the area of career management, to reduce some of those challenges that women face. But the message I'm taking away, which uh, has made me feel very optimistic, is that gender is about men and women. It's about boys and girls. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Es que ricasco, que es muchas gracias y un recordarte que es hasta la siguiente. Mangi nuyu Senegal yep 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 parce que lima indi fi Italie acturin c'était pour ma jang lo hamne dina avancer lo un peu santé binga hamne dini bugu population yep. Koda hafez da kahave. Amsen santé, amsen jam, amsen salam. Té du aferu digen agor, me lo hamne sohla nyeple ni jublu tibel lolo nek lo hamne nyep dene tigisen bob. Lol mo me indifi turan. Kwanda ova e merci a tout l'académie. Ova. Gender equality or equality between women and men does not mean that women and men will become the same, but that women's and men's right will not depend on whether they are born male or female. And gender inequality is not just about gaps between girls and boys and uh, between girls and boys or men and women in terms of opportunities and achievements, but it also reflects structural inequality that arise from the way in which society, economy, and politics are organized. Merci, bonjour à tous. Comment on peut faire pour impliquer nos partenaires hommes et que eux aussi puissent vraiment s'en approprier parce que d'une manière générale et en rapport avec certaines cultures et l'inégalité des pouvoirs qui existent dans les sociétés, ça crée vraiment un obstacle à l'égalité du genre. Merci. Is it possible? So you tell me what is next and it is within your hands because you now hold the, the authority, the, the power, you are near the decision making. I think next is abolishing the most prevalent form of discrimination which is discrimination based on gender. I understand that we are around 180 or 90 people from like 70 different countries and I had been like really fortunate to meet like really wonderful people from all over the world you know and this is one of the best tool I think we can use. I'm really pleased to be here uh, from what I gather it's the first time that the Gender Academy or any other course for that matter uh, here uh, in at the ILO ITC Center in Turin uh, is dealing with LGBTI issues, lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans and intersex people's rights. Our work during these two weeks is to think about training and learning methodologies, both in terms of the event as a whole, and creating the open space and those kinds of activities. We have a very exciting project on identifying and challenging the gender-based violence and the sexual harassment that goes on in factories in Bangladesh and India all the time. We know it's there, but because of the nature of the abuse and because of the stigma that's attached to it, it's very difficult to give publicity to it and for individual women to come and speak about it. I'm, I'm very glad that here we have a perfect gender balance in terms of the podium and the, the presenters. This, if I may make this remark from my perspective, is only matched by the French. 
We have four main pillars of our decent work agenda. Employment issues, issues of social protection, social dialogue and giving voice, and of course the rights, the rights-based approach of the whole Uni uh, United Nations system, but also in the ILO, our labor rights approach. I would like to stress the importance of bringing to the attention of everyone the special cases like the case of Palestine uh, and this, uh, like this setting of discussion might give us all an idea how to start pushing policies and politics to change through uh, stressing gender inequalities. Thank you. We can learn from each other whether there are certain strategies and tools that have worked or that are working and also really to share what the different perspectives in this, uh, this effort from policy to practice. No solamente la perspectiva de género es un tema que esté tratando el ministerio, esto es un compromiso de todo el país. Tenemos una matriz con compromisos específicos de cada una de las instituciones e indicadores para medir qué tanto hemos avanzado en el desarrollo de estas políticas con enfoque de género. En general, we have uh, the same problem with uh, Colombia. Uh, with uh, allowing uh, participant uh, women in the labor market and this is a big issue in Jordan because also in Jordan we have uh, very high educated women but this is uh, this this number or this rate uh, didn't reflect in the labor market Jirina it's a program it's, it's a program qui vise à donner uh, une vache à la famille des mini au Rwanda à chaque famille des mini au Rwanda on a donné une vache et après uh, Après neuf mois, la vache a eu un veau et, et puis après un certain temps, l'homme a commencé à, à avoir de l'argent évidemment et à aller dans, dans, les, dans les cabarets pour boire de la bière et puis euh, l'homme a été enlevé et il est emprisonné et puis la femme a dit « mais bon, avant que la vache vienne, on était en paix ». Uh, donc, le problème, c'est la vache. Uh. My name is Suhasini. Um, I come from India. The challenges are uh, that despite, despite the fact that women are undergoing harassment and face uh, labor violations and also violations in terms of rights, for, just because they are women, uh, they don't speak up. The, fact, the very fact to get it out of them is very challenging and unless they share it with others or us, uh, I mean, all mechanisms uh, just are there but of no use if they don't uh, speak up. I come from Bangladesh. One of the reasons I chose this course was this wasn't just a gender course, it also had specifics about work-related issues that women face. I come from Burundi. I'm here uh pour euh, apprendre comment euh, faire en sorte que dans le travail de tous les jours de planification, je puisse intégrer le genre. En Haïti, on a déjà des acquis en matière de politique sur les femmes. On a un ministère à la condition féminine et aux droits de la femme. Mais euh, on peine encore à faire euh, un budget axé sur le genre. I come from an indigenous community in the Philippines. And when we, talk, when we talk about gender, discrimination is an issue. It's a multiple dimension of discrimination to indigenous women because first, they are women, second, they are indigenous, and third, maybe because they are indigenous women with disability, you know, indigenous women who are really, um, you don't have a job, unemployed, and, and that kind of stuff. I come from ILO, country office for Thailand, Cambodia, and Laos. I think it's uh, very necessary to uh, encourage colleagues and everybody, you know, it's, it's the responsible of everyone to mainstream gender in, in the work we are doing. Some challenges that we have in Papua New Guinea, we, it's a country that's wild and rugged. It has over 900 different languages. It's heavily patri a patrilineal society, so there are a lot of gender disparities that um, we, we need to work with. As a country, we are very interested in gender issues. Our ministry was previously Ministry of Women and Children's Affairs. 
But this government is particularly interested in the gender dimensions, although in the equation, the women are the most disadvantaged variable. We have now redefined our ministry so that we can take a holistic approach on the issues of gender. Para empezar, yo me centraría en el concepto hombre. El concepto hombre es un concepto construido social, cultural y políticamente, y además está en constante cambio. El ser hombre, como el ser mujer, lleva consigo una serie de cualidades, cualidades que se nos enseñan, que aprendemos y que las interiorizamos de tal manera que muchas veces las naturalizamos. Yo soy hombre porque no soy mujer, yo soy hombre porque no soy homosexual y yo soy hombre porque no soy niño. I will ask you very simply to walk in the space and to try to fill the space. Stop. Walk. Walk. Stop. 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 When I say woman, you try to walk as a woman. When I say man, try to walk as a woman. Uh, what did I say? Man, you walk as a man. Woman as a woman. Stop. Men. Stop. Woman. I'm here again for the second time uh, managing this activity, but once more uh, I have to realize that this is a real team effort and we couldn't do it without, uh, without very, very big team spirit. So you really have to rely on people who are knowledgeable about gender issues, who know exactly how to design and manage a training event, but that are also extremely committed and available, because I think that this was a must for this edition as well as for the first edition. Mm -hmm.